Welcome to the assembly video for Lantern B. And let's take a look at what we have here in front of us, uh, just like the previous one, as well as the next one. Uh, the process is gonna be very similar and pretty straightforward. So we're gonna actually begin with the main panels here with your patterned paper. This is the pattern that we've used. And as you can see here, I have done a little bit of pre-assembly uh, as far as these windows go, just to save time. Uh, because, well, it is pretty repetitive and monotonous. So what you're going to do is you're going to find all the little windows and you're going to glue them uh, into their appropriate locations. So here you can see I have two more windows that I need to glue in place. So I'm going to do that and go easy on the glue with these. Uh, I'm putting just enough pressure on the glue bottle to create almost a perforated sort of stream of glue. If you have any areas where the glue kind of globs out and you feel like maybe you have too much, just kind of uh, dab it with your finger, flatten it out, thin it out. You don't want to uh, get way too much glue on any of this, otherwise it'll kind of smear out and potentially blemish your beautiful patterned paper. We don't want that. And these little windows are very small and delicate. They are not going to require that much glue. And this will also speed things up for you. The less glue you have, the less time you have to wait for it to dry and set and bond with your other sheet of paper here. So as you can see, I put these two windows in place. I already put these windows in place, so this one's done. You're going to do the same thing on this one. Just apply all of your windows. Oh, by the way, I also, on my pattern here, and this is optional, uh, but I did hit this with a little bit of ink around the outside. I went with a nice gray, light gray color. If you don't have gray, you can probably use a black and just go very light on it. Okay, here's another panel with the windows already in place, so make sure you get those in place. And this is the only one that's a little bit different. Okay, so this is the only one that's different. and. I've already put these two windows in place. You do have two smaller windows here. They're little skinny windows, so you want to get those in place. And this one's even more delicate than the other shape, so you just want to make sure that uh, you go really easy on the glue with this. Okay, so just pop that in place. And then these are like little houses, little homes. So there's always going to be a door on one of the sides here. So this is where our door is going to go, and the door is made up of these two pieces. So I'm going to first off glue the white piece onto my lavender piece. Your colors may be different, and that's fine. Okay, so let's get that in place. And you just want to, just want to match that up with this little piece here. The little cutouts. Now you can use uh, vellum for these projects if you'd like. We're actually using acetate um, so that these are going to be see-through. I've got some nice electronic candles that we're going to pop in here to create that, that beautiful ambiance. Okay, so we've got the white piece on here and now this one's going to go right on here. This is going to be flush with the bottom of the panel. So it's going to go all the way down to the very base. Okay, let's get our glue on there. And that squeaking you heard, I think is a, probably a little mouse or something in my studio. I'm out in the country. We don't have any mice in the house because we have two cats in there now. But occasionally, I think it's because the studio is not as well insulated. You gotta get like a, at least one mouse in here every, every winter. And that's okay. I usually try to trap them and I take them out to the, uh, uh, what's it called, forest preserve, about a half a mile down. <laughs> it probably just ends up right back here, but I can't, can't see them. Um, I can't use mouse traps. I feel bad. Okay, so that is in place. And so we've got all four panels ready to go. Okay, now some other things that we can do while everything is still flat. This is the main roof piece, 
Okay, as you can see, I've already put two of the panels in place. Now this lavender piece, I hit this with, uh, I believe, I think this is gray as well. And I used an embossing folder to kind of simulate little shingles on there. So let's get this glued in place. We've got two of these to put in place. And if you want, while we're working on the structures and such, all of these pieces that we have assembled that are flat, um, you can put them under your mat so they dry nice and flat. Okay, now I'm putting this in place here. There are two little markers at these corners here. So use those as your guides to make sure that you have them properly aligned. Okay, let's get the other one in place. I think all three of these lanterns are gonna to go together pretty easily and quickly because of their shapes. They're just essentially, you know, boxes with a little bit of detail, but nothing crazy. Okay, get that right in place using those markers, just like we did the last one. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna keep that nice and flat. I'm gonna pop this right on top here and just put this underneath my mat, let this all dry nice and flat. And we'll work our way over to this piece. This is the little, uh, this is the tip top of the roof. And we've got four pieces and two of them have a little slit cut into them. And that is for the little uh, handle. Okay, and we'll, we'll show you how that goes together in a little bit here. But first we need to get these pieces on. So essentially you just wanna make sure that you get them in the right spot. You don't wanna put the one without the slit in this section here to cover up the slit. Obviously we need access to that. And we'll glue the last one down here. Okay. Get that one glued down. Just make sure that you match this up. Whoops. And try not to get glue. If you're using a metallic paper, try not to blemish it with glue from your finger. It's really hard to get off. And water, like a damp rag will not even work. So, okay, there we go. I'm gonna put this underneath my mat and let it set. And while we're here, this little section here, or this piece here, you wanna take and just fold these tabs out of the way on both of these. What we're gonna do is we're gonna glue these back to back on the entire back part of this, minus the tabs. We wanna leave the tabs alone. We're gonna use the tabs to join this and connect it to that little roof piece that we just finished assembling. So I'm simply just putting glue on the entire back minus the tabs. And I'm gonna put these back to back, just kind of sandwich these, or sandwich the glue between the two tabs. Make sure that you have it nice and aligned. Just use the little circular horseshoe shape there to make sure that you've got it all lined up nicely. And you can push this down flat. We didn't put any glue on the tabs, so it's okay. They're still free and loose, just like that, okay? So that is essentially what we want that to look like, and we can let that set as well, okay? So all that's left now is, well, we can actually start putting together our main structure. Now, of course, there's four sides, so we have four pieces of acetate, and these pieces here, these are little additional pieces that we're gonna use to cover up the acetate and also make this structure a little bit stronger, uh, and more rigid. So these are gonna go on in a little bit here. Uh, but for now, what we can do, and this is another piece for the, the top, top part of the roof. Okay, so you can actually bring out the panels here. We'll get those out. And we're gonna glue these down onto these sections here. And obviously this one goes on this one. All the other ones are the same. It's just a total of six windows on all of the other ones. But this one's gonna go here, just like so. Our acetate is gonna go on the inside, okay? So we can do that later. But for now, let's get these glued down. And we've got a lot of surface area here to cover, so uh, try to work quickly. Try to get that glue out to the very edges here as well. And then we'll just do a quick little, a quick little squiggle in the center here to make sure the rest of this kind of stays in place. 
and do your best to get that nice and lined up. It should be, once it's all in place, it should be flush with the top and the bottom. So check your work there, just like that. And press that down into place. Okay. There we go. And that looks pretty good. And then we just move on to the rest of them here and get these in place. Again, make sure you work your glue out to the little brick feature of this little house. And again, you don't have to get glue on every single little inch of it, but do your best and then just line that up just like with the first piece. This will eventually be flush with the top and the bottom. So you can kind of also use that as a visual cue or a guide. Make sure that you've got it in the right spot. Okay, there we go. You can see how that's starting to look like. And just make sure that's all making good contact. Then we'll move over to the other section here and just repeat the process. I'm gonna repeat this process obviously two more times since we have two more sides. And a little squiggle there, a little squiggle here. Here a squiggle, there a squiggle, everywhere a squiggle. And we'll pop that into place. I'm using the little crosses or the crosshairs on the windows as my visual guides for placement. Everything ultimately will fall into place if you just use those as your guides, okay. Looking good so far. And moving right along to the last section. And then we're gonna flip these over and work on putting our acetate in place. And then ultimately putting everything together. Oops, there we go. Should probably put some glue there. There we go. Okay, there we go. Line that up as accurately as you can. Beautiful. Okay, so you notice that you have two pieces that have little holes cut in them. This is the main structure or the main part of the base. This is going to create a little lip that the lantern will slide on top of and the little lip will kind of hold things in place for us. Okay, so I wanna make sure that you get everything nice and folded. And this is gonna to go together very easily. It's a very simple little piece. Don't forget about the little triangles here. Get those folded over as well. And what we're gonna do I'm going to move the larger tabs out of the way here. I'm going to take these little triangular tabs here, throw a little bit of glue on them. Don't overdo it, otherwise you'll be sitting there for an hour waiting for it to dry. And bring that in and take the neighboring piece and pop it right on top there. And press and hold, just make sure that you have it correctly aligned and hold that in place. There we go. Just like that. And moving on to the next one. Just a thin little line or thin little layer of glue, I should say. And bring that in right there like so, right behind this wall and just press and hold that in place, like so. Give that a few moments to set. Should not take long at all. There we go. And the next one. So as you guessed it, 
We're going to repeat this process one, two more times. Bring that in, line it up, press and hold. And essentially we're, we're forming a dimensional box, a very thin box, but it's still a box. We'll hold that in place. And last one, popping that in place. Now we do have a beautiful little decorative element that we're going to put on the actual base here in just a moment. And it's very simple as well. Okay, so we have all four of the small triangular tabs glued into place. You can see the structure that was formed as a result. And we're going to take this little square piece, and we're going to glue it down to just one of the sides here real quick, just to get it anchored. Let me clean this off here real quick. Okay, so go ahead and apply your glue to one of the tabs. And just make sure you got a nice little line of glue, just enough to spread that out to the very edge to get that nice and crisp. We'll take this and just line that up as centered as you can get it right out to the very edge of this section. And press and hold that down for a moment while that glue takes hold. And then you can take it, flip it down, and press down from the inside to get the rest of that tab secured. Okay, perfect. That looks great. And now and put glue on the remaining three tabs and just close this up. So there's one, two, and three. And again, I'm going to take my glue and spread that out to the very edge. So I get a nice, crisp, clean seam. There we go. You can flare these up a little bit. And as you bring this down, focus on getting this side lined up correctly. There we go. Beautiful. Press that down. And now if you need to kind of nudge or push the two sides in a little bit so everything lines up, feel free to do that. It might be sticking out just a tad. And just try to maintain pressure on all three of these sides. I think it's small enough to where you can do that using both of your hands completely spread out. And then I would just take my fingers and run them right along that very edge where this square meets the wall, just to make sure that that's making good contact. So that hopefully in the end, when everything is set, we're not left with any gaps like that one. Okay, this side turned out nice. That side was the first side we did. I do have a little gap there, but it's okay. It happens. If you have a little gap like that, grab a scrap piece of paper, throw a little bit of glue right on the corner, and just tuck it in between those two layers, layers, and just paint a little bit of glue right on that section that is not sticking, and just press that down. Press and hold that down in place until that glue has a chance to really grab it. Okay, and you can see how nice and clean that looks now. We don't have that little that little gap. And that's going to happen. It's, uh, it's part of the process. And I think, uh, again, it's more likely to occur uh, in certain areas, too, depending on humidity, depending on how much glue you have, uh, things of that nature. So, all right, let's put our little lip together now. Okay, and very similar to what we did before, we're going to take and... Now these are almost triangles, essentially they are, they just have the tips cut off. We're going to take these little triangles, glue them to the neighboring wall. So here's the wall, there's the tab, I'm going to glue that like that. And this is a little easier because there's no large tabs to battle with. So just grab that, pull it over, and glue it to the neighboring wall and just hold that in place. And then we're just going to glue this right on top here once all said and done. And again, it's going to create that little lip 
candle is going to go all the way down to the base. So, well, actually not even the base, through the base to the very bottom so that we're not dealing with any sort of warping. Yet everything will look nice and clean and thought out. Okay, so I just put glue on that tab. I'm going to bring this down, get it nice and aligned, press and hold. There we go. And that should be plenty of time. Maybe not. I might have rushed it a little bit, but you get the idea. Okay, and there is our third one that I dabbed. I put a little too much glue on. Grab that, bring it on in, press and hold. And that just leaves one more guy here. Get our glue on the final tab. Kind of hit that with my finger. And get that nice and aligned, press and hold. There we go. Okay, so there is the little lip mechanism. And you can see on top here, we do have a series of little score marks and that's to help you with the alignment of this piece just to make sure that we have it nice and centered. Um, technically, I don't really need it because all we need to do is make sure that we match this up with the circle that's cut in the center, but it's just an additional guide should you need it. Okay, so get your glue on this entire piece and flip it over. And this should be a square piece, meaning it's symmetrical. Yeah, you know, it still kind of helps to have those. And press that down on all four sides. Make sure it's getting good contact all the way around. And that's that. Okay. We'll give that a few seconds here. And then we can put our little... Yeah, there we go. We'll put our little piece here on, on the base now. Now these uh, two pieces here, they have little score marks in the center. There's one little score mark. So when you fold it, take the other end, line it up, and then press it down. Because those score marks, depending on your cutter, may not always make it fold symmetrically. So you always still want to line it up with the end here. Make sure that these two ends are, just like when you're folding paper, in half, you line up the ends, okay? Just like that. All right, so you know, I've, got, I've got a little area here that's lifting up, so you know what to do. See, I kind of, uh, kind of rushed there a little bit, and that's what happens. So we'll take a little bit of glue. You can see here how it's lifting up. Just paint a little bit of glue in that area where it's not sitting flat, and then just press and hold it down. So I was right. I rushed, and that's what happens when you rush sometimes. Uh, it's, got a, it's got a lot of surface area on here, and that is probably why when you're dealing with a lot of surface area, um, well, you're not always gonna apply the same amount of pressure to every little section, and that is what's gonna happen, but that's okay. I can always go back and clean that up even more. Uh, now, as far as these pieces go, uh, well, obviously, we've got that little score mark there in the corner, so we're going to use that as a reference and a guide. And you can see how nicely that goes in place. And what we're going to do, we're going to glue one side at a time here. So I don't want to try to do both at the same time. Might end up making a mess here, but go ahead and just put glue on one of these. Just like that. And I'm going to take and just lay it down right on that little corner. Make sure it's centered. That side doesn't have glue on it, this side does. Okay, make sure it's nice and centered. Press that down into place, just like that. Press and hold. Give that a moment. Okay, now while that's setting, you can flip this out. You can actually push that down on your table now. And apply glue to the remaining side here, like so. And just bring that down. Make sure it's centered, just like that. And see, I've got a little bit of glue on my finger, and it's rubbing off on this nice metallic paper, so be careful of that. I'm going to use my table 
push to push that down and get it in place. Okay, so that's that. And all that's left to do now is to do the same thing with the other one. So if you're comfortable with this, feel free to do it on your own. And the next thing we're going to do, so if you're scrubbing through the video, uh, I'm going to be pulling out the little items that are drying underneath my mat. So as soon as you see me do that, you know, you can go ahead and hit play and continue along. Okay, so here, the important thing here is we're going to line that up with the corner, but when we put this down, make sure that it lines up with this side here, just to make it uh, on the same plane. Okay, you can see how nice that looks. It looks seamless for the most part. Okay, and then we can put that down on our table, let our table do the work while we put glue on the remaining section here. Like that. Make sure you get some glue out to the very edge. And we can flip that up and then press it down. And again, just make sure that you have it nice and lined up with the other side. And actually, that looks like it's off a little bit. No one's going to notice. You can't really see all four sides at the same time, so it'll kind of be a little optical illusion. Okay, there we go. Okay, so our base is complete. We've got our nice little trim on there. That is ready for uh, our, our candle here in just a moment. Or our actual lantern, I should say. Okay, let's get this out. And we'll get this out too. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, and again, these are the little overlays that are gonna hide the, um, the acetate. And all four of these are the exact same size, so it doesn't matter which one you use. Uh, make sure you don't have any glue or anything on this acetate. Okay, and we're just going to glue this down. I'm going to try to make sure that we get it as centered as possible. So go ahead and just work your glue around the perimeter of the windows. Try to not get the glue too close to the windows. Okay, and then I would do just a tiny little drop in the center of the little crosses here. Just to make sure that that doesn't move too much. And just do your best to drop that in as centered as you can and press that down very gently. You can see how with acetate, if you're using acetate, um, this will hold it, but it is, it's not very porous. So it's going to kind of slip and slide around that glue. It's going to really just push its way any direction it can go. Okay, so we've got that acetate in place and then of course you've got this piece it's going to cover it up just to make the inside nice and pretty. Okay, so with this one, with this piece, I'm going to put the glue on the actual paper so I know exactly where it needs to go. I'm going to focus on getting it on the perimeter. I'm not going to worry too much about the interior. Well, a little bit on the interior, but I'm not even going to go anywhere near the windows. I'm just going to do it like this. Okay, and take a look at those crosses. Make sure that those are lined up nicely with the existing ones. Okay, so again, we try to go a little bit thinner with the glue this time. Because I noticed that it was really spreading around like crazy. Okay, that should be good. And just make sure that you're covering up the windows completely. Just like that and press that down into place. Okay, there we go. We'll let that set and move on to this section here. We've got two more, two more sections for the acetate. Now you could omit the acetate. Again, you don't have to use it. Um, we just thought it would look cool. Again, you can use vellum if you want. Um, some people, if they can't find vellum, um, they've actually used tissue paper, and that's fine too. That works. Pretty much anything you want to put in there. Anything that's translucent, anything that will allow light to seep through is essentially the objective here. So all we want to do is just make sure that we can get the light to shine through. In our case, you're actually going to be able to see the candle, which is cool. Nothing wrong with that. All right, I'm just moving right along here to the next section of acetate. 
do a little drop here in the center of the crosses on the windows. That should be fine. That ought to hold it. And just drop that in. Again, don't worry so much about where you're putting it as long as you have it within the confines of this rectangle. Do not cross over into the tab area and do not go across over to the other side. The little panels here are gonna cover this all up. Okay, so now one thing that we're gonna to wanna to do, we can, we can actually do this side here. We can put this side down right now. Uh, well, you know what, let's do this first. Let's, let's connect these pieces together. Okay, so you can see here, um, we have tabs on both of these. We're gonna take this tab and glue it to this section here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get your glue and let's get this glued into place. I'm gonna throw a thin little line of glue right at the very bottom, spread that glue out to the very edge. I need a little more there. There we go. And just get that lined up next to the other piece. Pardon my head here for a second. You can do that nice and flat and then press that down onto the other side. Just press and hold that down. If you want, you can take this whole thing Fold it over onto itself so that we can really focus on this seam right here and just press that down and let that really set okay okay so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to take these little overlays that cover up the acetate and we're going to put them in these three spots here we're going to wait and do this one last okay so can go ahead and get your glue. I'm going to just focus my glue on the perimeter of these little over or these little covers, I'll call them. I'm not going to worry too much about putting them on the windows, but I will do that little section there. Okay. And now you'll notice that the little crosses on these windows are thinner. That's to kind of give you a little margin of error, but you want to line those up. Oh, wrong one. Okay. That's just, that's one. That's the one with the door. So that's not going to work. You want to make sure that you get it in the right spot. Okay, there we go. Just make sure that those crosses are nice and centered and press that down. Okay, so you can see how nice and polished that's gonna look inside and out because well, obviously it's not only translucent, but it's transparent in our case. And you're gonna be able to see the inside, so we wanna keep it nice and clean, okay? Now for this one here, obviously we need to use this one. That's gonna go here. So let's get our glue. Again, I'm gonna focus on the perimeter mostly. And just do a little bit on the inside. I'm not gonna worry about the window details. I'm just gonna go like that. There we go. Okay, so this one's gonna get covered up. Again, use the thin little areas of the windows as your guides. You'll notice that. Well, there's, yes, uh, well, it's a little bit thinner. There we go. And just press and hold that down. Now we are gluing paper onto acetate. Again, it is gonna stay, but it may take a little bit longer for it to fully set. I'm not worried about it. You just have to be a little more patient. Okay, so that one's done, that one's done. We're gonna do this one, we're gonna leave this one alone for now until we join the whole thing. We're gonna do that section last. So here we've got one more. We've already done this, so nothing new here. We'll just do the inside like that. Again, use the these little crosses in the windows as your guide. Sorry, when I get in deep thought like that, my mouth just shuts up. Okay. So far, so good. All right. Almost on the final stretch here. Just got a few more little things to put together and our beautiful lantern will be done. And you can see how nice and heavy this is, how nice and sturdy it will be. We've got all of these layers working together to keep this nice and sturdy. 
Okay, great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to close this up by taking this tab and gluing it to this section here, which means that we'll need to get some glue on this tab. Okay, and I'm going to spread that glue out to the edge of the tab like so. And because this is a symmetrical piece, you can literally just pop that down like so with the tab extended, take the other side and just press it down right into place. And make sure that it gets its hold, initial hold, like so. Okay. And then we can take it and flip it over onto that seam and it should sit nice and flat. And that tells us that we really aligned everything nicely. Okay, so there we go. And now it's just a matter of finding, this is the side here that we didn't put our little panel on. So we're gonna do that now. And get your glue around the perimeter, just like we did the last three times. And then just a little bit down the center. And just wanna be a little careful here as you pop that in. Now the reason we're doing it this way is to, so that we don't have to glue that tab onto too many layers. And there we go. There we go. And just press that down into place. And actually you could just do it like this. Okay, so the bulk of this is pretty much done. And we just have a couple more little things to assemble and then we'll call it a day. There we go. Okay. Look at that. And that should fit nicely onto our little base and it does. Okay, so you see what we've got going here. It's really cute. Okay, next, we've got these three sections. And these final three sections just make up the little roof here. So what we're gonna do here is this little tab, I'm gonna take and glue this tab down to its neighboring side here. So go ahead and throw some glue right on this tab. And I'm gonna spread that glue out nice and thin. And just grab this right underneath this layer here, or the section, get it nice and lined up. Essentially building kind of a flat pyramid, as you can see there. And press and hold that down. Now before we close this up, to put our little handle in place. I have some, must have some glue on my fingers still. Or that could be from before, either way. Okay. And so now we've already assembled this. So what we need to do is just pop it through these little slits on both sides. So just feed that one through, feed this one through. And we're gonna take and put glue, in my case, on the copper sides. So just one little dot of glue should do. There we go. And just take it and spread it out and press that up against the inside of this little section. Okay, so it's glued, we're gluing it to the inside here. You can see this one, I'll flip this one over. You can see that little tab there. I'll put a little dot of glue on it, just a tiny one, you don't need a lot, just like that. And then just take it and fold it up against the inside. Now I'm, I'm kind of just looking at it from the outside and that's fine. But you can see what that's supposed to look like. Now be patient here and make sure that that completely sets. And there you go, just like that. Okay, so we'll repeat the same thing on the other side. Just a little dot of glue on that side and a little dot of glue on that side. And just spread those out and push them up against the inside of this section here. Just be patient while that sets. And then we have our little handle there and that looks really nice. Okay, so once we're sure that that's had ample time to set, which <laughs> I have not done that yet. I'm gonna wait another few seconds here. There we go. We can go ahead and close this up. 
by taking these tabs and folding them in, we're going to apply our glue to all three of these tabs. I'm going to go a little bit heavier towards the edge of the tab here, the outer edge. And I'm going to take and spread that glue out. So this is nice and crisp once it's all done. Okay, and we're going to take the anchored part here, bring it over, focus on aligning it with this side first, get it nice and centered. And then the rest of it should just kind of fall into place. And this is where you can just use your table and press down. I would just add a little extra pressure right around the perimeter. Okay. And just work your fingers around. And that looks great. And that's holding nicely. And that's essentially what we wanted to construct. Okay. So we've got a couple more little pieces here to put together. We're going to ultimately take this whole thing and weld it to the main structure, but that is perfect. Okay. So next up is this section here. And what we're going to do is a little tab on this side here. We're going to put some glue on this tab and bring that over all the way around to the other side and connect that with the other side. Make sure that you've got it nice and centered and hold that in place while it sets. You can actually flatten this out. This is another symmetrical piece. So I'm just, I'm gluing this while the whole thing's flat. That tab was on this piece and it's connected to this side here now, but I'm just flattening it out so I can really push down hard on this. Okay, so again, essentially just making this all one solid piece like so. Now these tabs here, we're gonna leave these alone. These we're gonna use to anchor this to the main part of the roof in just a moment. But this side here, we have already have one side anchored. We're gonna put glue on these three tabs. Now there are some slits in here, but we're actually not putting any vellum or acetate or anything like that on there. You can if you want, we did not include the cutouts for it. We're just gonna leave it um, just empty like so, like it is. Okay, and we're gonna take this and close it up, align it with this side here, the side opposite of the side that it's already hinged on or hinged at. Okay, so line that up. And again, if you need to kind of push the walls in a little bit, you can do so. And then once you have it lined up, you can flip it upside down, move the tabs out of the way, and then push down from the inside to really get that to stick a lot quicker. And again, just focus on the very edges there. Make sure that it's making good contact so it's nice and crisp all the way around. And mine is, mine is looking good. Perfect. Okay, great. So we'll let this, we'll let that sit for a minute. This is going to get glued onto there. And then this whole thing is going to get glued on to the main part of the roof here, which we'll put together here in just a second. So I've got everything, um, got everything folded. These tabs here, these are the tabs that we're going to use to connect the entire roof to the inside of our main structure. So you can just leave those as is. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these and glue these sections together using these tabs here. Okay, so go ahead and start applying your glue to these tabs. Spread that glue nice and thin all the way out to the edge. And bring that in. Get that nice and aligned. And just press that into place. Like so. There we go. And moving right along to the next one. Get your glue on the tab. Spread that out nice and thin. Okay. And pop that into place. You can get your fingers under there to press that into place. Okay, looking good. And now we've got, got to tuck one of those in. We'll have to glue the last one from the inside, which is fine. So let's do this one first. 
get your glue on that tab if you want. Spread that glue out. Make sure that you tuck this tab in when you go to glue this tab down, just like that. Beautiful. Looking good. You can actually put this down flat on your surface as long as you do it at the right angle. Just keep it, keep it flat on this surface. Okay. And you can see here from the inside, let me move this tab out of the way. It's got to come out this way anyway. We've got this one tab left. You can go ahead and put some glue on it. And just fold that over and connect it to this last section here. Just like that. Now I wasn't able to spread that glue out with my finger. So as I push down on this, I had a little bit of glue seep out, but you just rub that off with your finger and no harm, no foul. There we go. Okay, so now we've got these four tabs, again, are gonna get glued to the inside of the actual base here. And I think it's probably gonna be easier to put this in place first. So we're gonna take this, fold these in, Okay, just fold them in, stick them through. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and put glue on the four tabs and then push them up against the inside of this pitched roof. Okay, so let's start with just one tab here. You don't need to worry about getting glue on the entire tab. Just get enough on there. Just a little bit goes a long way with this. And pop it through. Make sure it's nice and centered. Okay, and then just take that and press it up against the inside, but also make sure that you have it nice and lined up. So the very top of this part should pretty much be nudged up against where this fold is. Okay, so you see where that's folded? Try to get that lined up there. So you can see that this tab is glued into place up against this part. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move over to the opposite side Throw a little bit of glue on that, and then take that and press that up against the inside of this roof. And again, take a look from the outside to check your alignment. Just to make sure that you've got it nice and aligned from the outside there. That looks great. And then the other two will just kind of naturally fall into place. And you've got these two tabs left here, one and two, one, two. And you can just throw a little bit of glue on that. A little bit of glue on that, fold that over, fold that over. I'm just gonna do it this way, it just feels more natural. And I can press down from the outside to kind of help that glue penetrate into those papers, paper fibers. And there we go. Okay, so that's that. <clears throat> now we just need to glue this down. I'm gonna wait to do that. But now, essentially we're gonna do the same thing. <coughs> And you can see it's in there and we need to put glue on those tabs now. Make sure you get it upside down, don't do it this way. You don't want the roof on the bottom. You want the roof on top, okay? So I'm gonna start with just one side. We'll get glue on just this one tab, okay? Pop that in, doesn't matter which way you do it. Again, it's all four sides are the same. Just make sure all your tabs are in place. And then take that tab that you just put glue on and push it up against the inside. And again, make sure that you get it nice and centered. Okay, there we go. And I'm just working like this because it's easier to kind of push that into place. Okay. Move that out of the way. Now we are gonna have to, you can see here, that tab is now glued to the inside part of our little structure. So now I'm gonna hold it like this. And technically, just to make it easier on you, you can put your glue on here. So we're going to the tab opposite of the tab that's already glued into place. We'll flip this down 
We're going to take that tab and push it up against the inside part of this section here. And I'll show you what the inside looks like here in a second. But again, make sure you have it centered. And now I'm just I'm pushing from the outside while pushing down from the inside, just kind of squeezing it into place. There we go. You can see here, I'm just kind of pushing that into place. Okay, so we'll take a look inside now. And let me grab something to point with. I'm gonna use my, okay, so here, you can see the tab is still there. This tab is still here, but this tab right here and right here is glued to the inside part now. Now we're gonna to have to take our glue and apply our glue like this to the remaining two tabs. So I just put a little bit of glue on that tab there and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna grab it and push it up against the inside wall here, but I'm gonna do that with my hand. Okay, so this is the area here where it's being glued. If you need to kind of bring it down a little bit just to make sure that this panel pretty much hugs the little score mark there, then you can do that. I'm just gonna press that into place. Tab here, tab here, and tab here are glued down. This is the only one that's loose. Let me grab my, let me grab a dowel here. You can see it better. There it is, you can see that tab. So I'm gonna flip this down. I'm gonna put my glue, just a nice little thin line of glue, right on that tab. You can see the glue there, right there. And we're gonna take this and push it up against this wall like so, except I'm gonna use my hand a lot easier. I'm gonna look at it from this side, just to make sure that it's nice and flush. And press that down, and that's pretty much it. Um, of course, as always, we're gonna take and add a little bit of bling to the project. Um, obviously, there's some great little areas on the little windows to add some rhinestones and some pearls. You're gonna give the door a little doorknob using some pearls. And uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be pretty much it. There we go. Okay, so that's gonna go right on here. This is ready for your electronic tea light. Again, make sure that you're not putting actual candles in here because that is not gonna be good. You don't wanna burn it down. Let's get this in place. There we go. And all that's left to do is put the little cherry on top. Now you'll notice on the bottom of this that you do have, and actually, you know what? I'm gonna put glue on here so I know exactly where it needs to go. Just put glue right on the top of this. And I'm gonna go a little bit thicker here. Spread that glue out to the very edges, like so. And, and let's see here, we want, we want the handle, the face of the little handle to correspond with the door. So pop that in place, use the little guides there on the bottom to help you with the centering. And I would still kind of give it, use your eyes as well to make sure that you get that nice and centered. There we go. And that is the first of three little lanterns that almost look like little houses. And depending on how you make these up, uh, well, the colors that we selected here are going to be perfect for Christmas as well. It will well, work through winter as well. But obviously, you can do this for any season, summer, fall, spring. Um, I'm hoping that some of you will add some flowers to these um, to really jazz them up. You can kind of maybe put them along the sides here, on the roof, wherever. But that is that. So as I always say, take a look at the final photo of this project so that you can see where and what sort of embellishments we used to jazz this up. Um, but either way, it's a pretty quick little project. I think we're running at about, I don't know, about 45 minutes maybe. And uh, all three of these are gonna look great together. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the process. If you did, please take a moment and visit our YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. And while you're there, hit the little bell so that you get notifications Anytime we release a new project, whether it be a freebie 
or a paid project. And if you make this or anything from our new bundle, I would love to see it. And so would the rest of our community. So head over to your Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Group, or you can type in this little URL that comes on at the bottom here, and it'll take you right there. And um, yeah, inspire us, be inspired. Uh, but we'd love to have you, so feel free to join. Um, but yeah, hope everyone's having a um, great winter. <laughs> I guess if you're in Florida, you might be. Um, but uh, there's a light at the end of the tunnel here, and we're looking forward to it as far as the whole pandemic goes. Things are hopefully going the right way, and um, it's been a pleasure hanging out with you guys through it all. We're getting through it. We'll get through it. Um, Again, as always, I look forward to crafting with you again.